What is going on, guys? Fighting Game Select is here, and we are back with Justin Wong. What's going on, bro? What's good? Uh, it's a lot of uh, new stuff that has happened. So many games are just coming out, right? So many games. Yeah, man. We got Under Night and we got Tekken 8. Both of those fighting games are pretty darn good. Yeah, I know, man. And, uh, you know, we had a conversation a couple of videos ago talking about how Street Fighter 6 and MK did. Tekken is part of the big three. So we're going to go ahead and talk about, you know, Tekken 8 versus Street Fighter 6, man. Who is doing better? Man, as, you, at you the moment, right? Yeah, you always want to bring me in these controversial videos. I know, so. I know. All right, you these know controversial do, videos. Uh, I mean, Tekken Eight just came out. It ha it's in this honeymoon phase, right? So obviously, I think Tekken Eight is getting a, uh, you know, definitely getting a lot more buzz uh, than Street Fighter Six right now. Obviously, a lot of people are complaining about Street Fighter Six with like the, the input system um, that's being eaten up still. Uh, CPT is not doing the best with just like all these Lukes and Kens and in, in the cup time because right now I think Street Fighter 6 is like it's still a great game uh people still love the game but you know there are some issues or maybe people are just waiting for season two before it re like it reignites their fire of playing Street Fighter 6 again right a lot of the CPT I feel like you know just going in now you know the fact that we got all these loops coming in i really feel like it's really demoralizing like a lot of people just be like interested in things like that but you know i will say uh if we had to compare launch uh how would you say tekken is doing launch compared to street fighter 6 right now um you know i think tekken 8 launch you know it had it had a, a lot of hiccups i don't know if you saw uh the servers were just like not having it like my game was crashing um wow well, was it because of the servers yeah because of server it wasn't like because of the game or netcode uh they they said it was the servers just like there's just too many people hopping on tekken 8 that's just that's the that's what they were saying um so there was just way too many people and the game just kept crashing like you just kept getting fatal error um and it wasn't just pc even the ps5 version was crashing too when it came down to the online and stuff so it was just really hard to get online matches for the first two hours of the launch of Tekken 8. Um, so that was really unfortunate. But once like two hours was passed and they kind of like fixed it, online was amazing. Like I didn't really have too many issues with playing online. Um, you know, obviously Wi-Fi people, um, it makes the game much harder to play against Tekken 8. But if you're f playing wired versus wired in Tekken 8, the netcode is fantastic. If you think about it, Street Fighter 6 probably still has the better netcode overall because I could play on the airport Wi-Fi and still have some good matches in Street Fighter 6. Overall, past both of those flaws for both games, uh, what would you say had the best launch? I think Street Fighter 6 had the best launch just because even... I think the only thing that wasn't working was the the team battle rooms or whatever but yeah. i think like battle hub rank match uh like private room they were all working pretty solid when it came to launch like right away there wasn't like issues from what i remember um that really stood out that's like oh man i can't believe capcom messed up type of thing right right now tekken 8 is hot uh super fun super amazing story mode so good like i do think tekken 8 story mode in terms of single player content is is much better than street fighter 6 world tour because wow. i love street fighter 6 world tour but it's not really really a story mode you know it's it's like the story is about you your creative character it's yeah, not about yeah. the street fighter 6 lore right so you don't really see these characters kind of like suffer go through hardships compared to tekken 8 Tekken character 8, development. yeah, there wasn't much character development. Character development. Tekken 8, though, I was losing it. Like, oh my god, I was so hype. I was like, it was, it was just insane. Like, and they added so many fun things in Tekken 8 story mode. Like, they even brought back like Tekken Force somehow, um, and that's really cool. Really? Yeah, like you gotta play it. It's, it's, a, it's a pretty fun game. Uh, three hours, like I think the av the game to be to beat story mode is like three and a half hours, so which is really good. But the the fights the the fight scenes are just like 
insane and the story the character development really really is good i think when it comes to, and they also added like the the new replays right where you could take over people's Bro, replays right how many how many modern games have that right now currently I think only Undernight and Tekken, right? Because Undernight has That's something like that too. Crazy, dude. A lot of casual players probably won't know about or don't know how to use until someone like a pro player makes a, a video about it. But I already, I already see uh, people post on Twitter like they'll see like a top player versus another player, and you see the top player lose, and somebody be like, "Yo, I took over your replay, and you could have done this." right oh, and that type of thing funny. i i don't know that's if that was funny. for 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 you know for for trolling but it it, it was a great uh, it, it's great that you can like be like hey look you could have done this instead of just like play theory fighter we could just like show it off in in like literally off of your replays right that's like you know me you know i'll be like hi casual here never played a fighting game before but i took your replay and i think these are a couple of <laughs> that you can do yeah so that's really good and then there's also <laughs> uh super ghost battle um uh, which is which is what street fighter does not have and okay. the the one thing about super ghost battle is that i i tried it and it was really fun and so interesting uh because you can download other players uh ghost which means like the ghost it's ai and they will try to play as that player so i download like arson ash's ghost sonic fox ghost knees ghost and i was playing against them and they had their combos the combos the bnbs that they were doing the movements uh the punishes so it was really fun to fight against a ai version of of the players that you see play in tournaments all the time so when i was playing and you know developing my ghost there was a few games where i lost to the ghost actually like <laughs> like he, wh he whiff punished me he was kicking me in my shins you know what i mean so like he was doing the stuff that i was doing it back like he was doing my own thing against me and then i was like oh, okay you know this i lose to it too so um so that was really <laughs> cool and playing knees ghost was actually like Wow, it was actually really fun because his movement was amazing. But I think like I don't know like how long it takes to develop a ghost to like get to the max level or potential or whatever. I think it takes a bit more time, but right now like it's a really good way to train. Like if you're a new player and you're like trying to like understand how to play Tekken, you don't want to play rank match, just download the just download the ghost of like top players and try to fight against them because they will teach you like how to not like it doesn't teach you how to play obviously but it teaches you like oh, so this is how you're supposed to move around this is how you're supposed to poke this is how you're supposed to attack um it kind of teaches you a lot so i think that's the the next step of like it's the next evolution of watching replays because you could just do it based off like the actual ghost itself so i think that's really cool because street fighter 6 obviously doesn't have that option like you can't just play ai daigo or or whatever like that so i think that's really fun it's a really good feature for for keeping fighting like beginner fighting game players to keep playing well, fighting games because a lot right. of times people will just quit right it's like oh yeah, yeah I, it's I, like well i don't want to play rank you know yeah i suck I, i'm done i don't want to i don't want to just keep yeah. playing online you know I, i've been hyping up tekken 8 a lot um i feel like in this video so far when you're in a when you're in let's say let's say you know we're, we're having a session you know me you and a few other people right in the lobby there's no spectate mode wait what there's no spectate mode in that room you can only spectate in the in the fight lounge whoa maybe i'm wrong or whatever but i was trying to find every option how to spectate because when i was joining these like player like player rooms of, to just play online i'm just like stuck in that menu where you just wait in queue and like the, the chat is there and everything like that but i could not be i could not get in to watch the match you know maybe that's probably why they were like yeah man Tekken world tour all offline bro yeah <laughs> maybe probably, right because <laughs> because we'll because i'm thinking like how are people going to run tournaments right how are people going to run tournaments yeah. and yeah. like and like because it's an arcade cabinet it's a public lounge right what if i'm like what what if i'm playing a tournament match it's one one like i just lost the, the second game and somebody queues up Yo, right ready, somebody, uh, hi, somebody guys. kicks me out right and it, <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's just so interesting i guess like the fact that there is no spectate mode i i found that kind of weird yeah so i'm curious i'm i feel like there would be a patch maybe down the road that gives 
uh spectate mode an option there but we'll see it's still I guess. unfortunate you know like even that the fact that we have to get like a patch for this you know like i, I feel like it's a bit rough you know what i mean uh mm -hmm. it's not it's not a good look i think that's a lot of things that we gotta talk about man and as always thank you so much for giving us your insight and answering all my controversial questions that i always <laughs> be throwing you at, throwing at you man no you problem know? no problem i'll take the um, heat i'll take the heat any day man yeah take the heat man my yeah. body has a shield you know that was a yeah. good card back in the day all right but what where can they find you bro twitter instagram twitch as uh j wong with three g's uh type justin wong on youtube you'll see my channel but yeah pretty easy to find me awesome man and look with that being said guys please let us know in the comment section below what it, how do you guys feel about the launch of street fighter 6 and tekken 8 currently right now uh what are your takes what do you think did better what do you guys think did worse you know if you guys think that they're evenly matched regardless it doesn't matter both fighting games is looking really good right now and you definitely should play them all thank you guys so much for watching please leave a like and we'll see you guys in the next episode